Are you taking IELTS this year and looking for some advice on the listening test? Well, I've got you covered, so keep watching for an up-to-date overview of the listening test, as well as tips for how to prepare. Hello everyone and welcome back to another IELTS video from Swoosh English. My name is Grace, I am your expert IELTS teacher and academic manager. Now many people struggle with the IELTS listening test, mostly because there is a lot of audio that you have to listen to, meaning that you need to focus for a very long time in order to answer the questions correctly. However, you'll be pleased to know that there are steps you can take in your preparation to make sure that you are prepared and confident for that IELTS listening test. And I'm going to share some of these with you today. Now, before we go over my expert advice for IELTS listening, let's have a look at the exam format and just remind ourselves of exactly what you have to do in the IELTS listening test. So here is our overview of the IELTS listening test. You will listen to four separate recordings and answer a total of 40 questions. The test lasts for around 30 minutes and this includes an extra 10 minutes at the end in which you can transfer your answers to the answer sheet. So remember that in IELTS listening, you do get that extra 10 minutes of transfer time at the end. The recordings will be made up of dialogues and monologues from everyday and academic situations. There are 11 different question types that you might see in this test and you will listen to a variety of native speaker accents. So it's really important that before you book your IELTS exam, you've taken plenty of practice tests and really familiarized yourself with the question types, the audio types, a variety of accents, and just making sure that you've done enough practice that you can confidently go into the exam and know that you'll get a high score. Now I'm going to share with you my expert tips on exactly how to prepare for the IELTS listening test. So let's get started with those now. My first piece of advice for you is to make sure that you're getting regular listening practice. When you're doing that, please do ensure that you're using official IELTS materials from IELTS themselves or from an official exam provider like Swoosh English. So making sure that the materials you're using are authentic and official as they're really going to help you the most. Try to vary your listening materials. So of course, listen to practice IELTS tests to make sure that you're getting used to the types of audios that you'll listen to. But of course, it's really helpful to listen to other things along the way, like podcasts or um, if you can listen in on conversations, meetings, watching YouTube videos, try to vary the type of material that you're listening to. And my best piece of advice is to practice little and often. So rather than just doing one big long study session at the weekend where you spend three or four hours doing practice listening papers, try to listen in English a little bit every single day, as this is really going to help you getting used to and being comfortable to listening in a different language. My next piece of advice is to make sure that you're getting exposure to different accents. As I mentioned before, you will be listening to a variety of native speaker accents in the arts listening test. So make sure that when you're preparing, you don't just listen to one or two different accents, but you're exposing yourself to a variety of different accents. You can access these by listening to podcasts, watching YouTube videos, watching TV shows or movies, anything where you're listening and the people that you're listening to come from different parts of the world, this is really great practice for you. And while you're listening, try testing yourself. See if you can identify where people are from or listen out for the differences in their accents. The more comfortable you are listening out for these differences, the easier it will be for you on test day and you won't feel like you're getting caught out or surprised by an accent that you've never heard before. Next up, we have predicting content. So before you even listen in the test, you will have an opportunity to read the questions. When you're reading the questions, don't just passively read them, but try to predict the content. Think about what it is that you're going to listen to. Anticipate the topic and maybe the main idea and predict the type of answer needed. So make sure that you're using that preparation time wisely. Predict what you're going to listen to and prepare yourself to hear it. 
Another piece of advice I have for you when you are reading those questions is to focus on keywords. So identify keywords in the questions. Remember that keywords are things like nouns, adjectives, adverbs, things that are going to help you listen out for the answer. If possible, underline the keywords. And then also keep in mind that you might hear synonyms and paraphrasing. So very often in the arts exam, you won't hear the answer stated in exactly the same words as the question. So first, identifying the keywords, underlining them, and then thinking about how synonyms and paraphrasing might be used in the audio. This is really going to help prepare you to hear the answer. Next up, try to simulate test conditions as much as you can when you are practicing. So this means taking timed mock exams, only listening to the audio once and mimicking the test conditions as much as possible. So it's really important that before you actually do the IELTS exam for real, you've simulated that exam situation. You're used to the time limit and most importantly, you're used to the pressure of only hearing the audio once because of course in IELTS, you won't get to listen again. So this is really helpful, an important thing to do in your exam preparation. Now, when you're doing these practice mock exams, it's really, really important that afterwards you take time to review your mistakes. So this means going through your errors and analyzing the reasons for them. Why did you make that mistake? Do you understand why your answer was wrong? Identify specific difficult question types. Maybe you often find that multiple choice questions are the ones where you're getting the answers wrong. So identify where you're commonly going wrong and then try to improve in the areas of weakness before taking the next mock exam. So by reviewing your mistakes, identifying your weaknesses and working on these, you can see an improvement each time you take an exam. Next piece of advice is to stay calm and focused. It can be very stressful being in a listening test environment, but the more calm and focused you are, the more correct answers you're going to hear. So try taking some deep breaths when you're in the exam room and so important not to panic if you miss an answer. You're not going to hear the audio again, so it's best to just forget about it and move on. Try to remain following the audio and focused. So this might sound easier said than done, but if you do miss an answer, the best thing you can do is make a guess and then move on. Because if you panic, you're more likely to miss the next answer. And then you're really going to harm your chances of a high score. So staying calm and trying to focus is absolutely key to success in any listening exam, especially in the IELTS. My final piece of advice is where possible, get expert guidance. So be careful with practice materials that you're finding online. Make sure that you're only using materials that have come from expert providers, someone who knows the arts exam and can provide and create official materials. Attend classes with an experienced IELTS teacher as this will give you the opportunity not only to learn from an expert teacher, but to also interact with other students who are taking the IELTS exam and learn from them as well. And if you think you need it, you can also get one-to-one -one support as this will really enable you to get personalized feedback from an expert teacher. So as you can see, although the IELTS listening test may seem quite intimidating, all you have to do is follow the steps outlined in this video and there's no reason why you shouldn't be successful on your first or next attempt. So remember, practice and consistency is key, making sure that you are making opportunities for yourself to listen as much as you possibly can. Even if it's just 10 to 20 minutes of listening every day, it will still help you. And of course, ensuring that you're using official IELTS practice tests and materials, simulating those exam conditions, making sure you're reviewing your mistakes, looking at areas to improve and work on, and also working with an expert teacher or even an exam preparation provider like Swoosh English to make sure that you're getting the help and support that you need. Now, if you're feeling a little bit stressed about your arts exam, don't worry because we can help you. 
head on over to our website www.swooshenglish.com and take a look at our range of IELTS exam preparation courses. They have everything you need to get you prepared for and passing your exam as soon as possible. They offer things like mock exams, video courses, live classes, writing corrections and so much more. So why not have a little look and see how Swoosh English can help you pass your IELTS exam on the first or next attempt. Thank you so much for joining me everybody. If you found this video useful, I would love to hear your comments. So please do write us a question, leave us a comment, maybe give us your favorite IELTS listening tip and I'm really looking forward to seeing those. Thanks so much everybody and goodbye.